That patrol of brood lords must be dealt with cautiously, or we will be torn asunder. Hmm. Gotta think this through. Probably. Let's see. You do that. You guys blink over, kill it, please. Faster. And then once the other one comes back, we leave. And then we wait for. Don't be in detection, first of all. That's not good. Detection, damn it. Let's support prison him. Sarah too can just take care of those broodlings by himself, and yeah, he's dead now. And there you go, her seer is also dead as well. Let's just keep in. I could have left him alive, but let's keep going. Eventually, we're gonna get um, also ways to um, get Zerg research as well. And now we got Blink across. So, first mission, there's no building. It's all pretty much just this. I think we get more stalkers though, at one point though. I can also kill these. Prepare for an aerial attack. Brace yourselves, my brethren. How do you know there's an aerial attack coming, though? I mean, how do you even know? I don't even really have to worry about stuff. Is there, is there um, some sort of, some sort of well? If you know, uh, no brood lord. That's what I was trying to say. I just couldn't find the words in this moment. More stalkers. We're one more stalker. Not a big deal. I mean, it is a big deal. We get an extra force. The Queen of Blades built hatcheries here. She seeks to subvert this sacred world. I shall put an end to that plan. We should be able to kill these from the high ground. I mean, they shouldn't be able to see us because of how the field works in StarCraft 2 compared to Brood War. I mean, the original StarCraft, I believe, even though you couldn't see the high ground, you could still shoot at it when whatever you get shot at, you have like a slight um, second of vision to actually shoot back. Which would actually um, let you uh, pretty much, um, pretty much, high ground was, high ground had the, unfor unfortunately high ground also meant you, I think you would miss like 50% of the shots though, so that also, that was, that was also a problem, so, yeah, I kind of like the way um, high ground worked in StarCraft, I mean, the way you work, I mean, I think also do that, if you in like some sort of a tree do that, you also have a chance to miss every few shots though. Push eight, this, I don't think there's anything like that in StarCraft 2. It's like you either can't, you either see a ground and have a hundred percent chance to hit, or you don't see it and you can't even shoot at all. No, it does prove it does. It is useful here though. And now we get the other one. We could kill this rock, but that's a uh, rock that doesn't need to die. He shall be the second fragment of the prophecy. My task is nearly complete. Yeah, let's continue on. There's only your hope is an illusion. If you can so easily read my mind, Kerrigan, you'll see that I'll never give up so long as hope remains. Careful now. Kerrigan has set guards to bar our way. It could be a trap. Come on, come over here. We should take them out carefully, one at a time, or risk being overwhelmed. We gotta risk being overwhelmed at all. Come over here, fight me. Fight me, bro. Fine, I'll kill your overseer if you're gonna do that. Congratulations, you got your overseer again. There's no detection here. You're lucky I can't shoot upwards. I can't go upwards. I mean, Vic Sarah could link onto them over less and kill them. Fortunately, fortunately he cannot. Now we can. Um, Stalker should be able to take care of them easily. No problem. Yeah, uh, you should probably get back. Get yourself some damage. Quick. Um, shields regen faster than in the original Starcraft. The mainlings spew acid when they die. Stalkers, take them out from a distance. I'll be sure to do that. I serve for now. Yeah, make sure I actually kill them. Just hold. Yeah, just hold position. Then we can blink away if we have to. There we go. That's that work. Then we just do some micro. There's a spore crawling over there. Uh, let's not. Uh, we took a bit of damage, but uh, they, yeah, didn't even penetrate the shield barely though. So we'll see. It seems to be a path over here, maybe, because I believe that the yeah the hatch trees are kind of in the like not on the path anymore. So we gotta go out and actually actively go look for them. This hatchery must be destroyed. If I am to keep the Queen of Blades from subverting this land. 
I'm surprised there's only three hatcheries though. I mean, you would think uh, Kerrigan would build more than three hatcheries. I mean, if you feel like, not to mention this, this must be an awfully small planet if you only need three hatcheries. I mean, I don't think I don't pick this entire area as an entire planet either. I guess it's the only area that matters, or maybe the rest of the planet, like some other stuff. I guess I could the broodlings as well. They do count for kills, so um, if Sarah kills about his KDA, not that, not that he'll be he'll be like 54 zero and something now. So yeah. And then we continue onwards. Yeah, make sure I get the last. Actually, I just kill you. You're only seen guarded. Could be a trap though. It is a trap, but no matter. Not the deal. Nice trap you got there, over here. It failed. Uh, so not to mention, there's not like, a lot of guys there either. Hello, circling. You're kind of dead now, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Spine crawlers. Kill them before they can take root and attack. I just killed the um. It kind of like you know, kind of just uh, kill the um. Damn it, I couldn't kill it fast enough. I mean, can I, I think they kill the creep tumors, then they have no creep, and then they're just... I could wait for them to die slowly though, it's actually just a waste of time though to do that. Let's just do that just, just to be safe. I must have missed the hatchery somewhere, so... I might actually want to search for that. I mean, it's, then again, it's only one circle, it's just I... I think I missed it whenever I play this mission though. Let's just think, where could it be? Where could it be? It could be anywhere, to be honest. Oh, I think I missed it? I don't see anywhere where it could be. I mean, it's less as some... Um, unless this was not the first hatchery, then it would have been somewhere... Nah, I don't think I missed it. Let's just keep going. It's only one search. Free search, it will get more than enough later anyways. It's not a big deal. Let's kill this thing, even though we could just blink past it. Rocks are dead. Antaro Tassadar, Brillig Zeratul. I am High Templar Karas. My force tracked the Queen of Blades to this world, yet we know not what she seeks. Kerrigan and I were both drawn here to uncover an ancient prophecy. With your aid, I pray we can discover it before her. Ah, Karas. He only appears for this one mission, but he's like, quite the badass, um. Quite the. I got another one as well. Quite the badass. Let's do that. I've placed the Ultralisk in a void prison. Bring it down, Karas. They're all controlled by the AI, though. And then, by the way, script that the Karas is gonna die, but he's a badass one. Also, regen's shields, I guess. Can you destroy the Let's put you in the void prison because you're the biggest threat. Kill that. And yeah. So it's a pretty powerful. Kill that thing as well, don't let it. These lightest worms must be destroyed, or the Zerg reinforcements will overwhelm us. Stalkers, take the high ground and support our brethren. We don't need no high ground, we can okay maybe we do. We didn't just destroy the worms, we killed everything, so yeah, that's simple, simple enough, um, looks like there's more, so maybe the last hatchery's overpass there. I think it's, I think it's, yeah, we have to escape actually, so yeah, that might be it. The final piece of the prophecy, it speaks of one who shall... Break the cycle of the gods. Most ominous. But if the Queen of Blades seeks this prophecy, we must keep it from her. The rest is obscured. What? You might kill the prophecy's layer, Seratul. But you cannot outrun the doom that awaits us all. Cannot prevail against so many. 
I will stand against the Queen of Blades while you escape with the fragments. I will not abandon you. The prophecy is more important than either of us. Reveal its secrets, Zeratul. The future rests on it. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten, brother. I remember when Starcraft was not about the key to the end of all things. I must get to the Void Seeker before the Zerg overwhelm me and the prophecy is lost. Kill that and kill these Zerglings before they overwhelm us with Zerglings, I guess. Kill that thing. But kill this thing. Actually, screw that. I don't care if Stalker dies, really. It's only one Stalker, anyways. Pretty fine. I. Maybe I, I should take my time. Actually, maybe I probably should speed it up a bit. Uh, you may be in a big of a problem there, Stalker. There, I think someone died. Now I shall become one with the Kala. I must get to the Void Seeker and preserve the prophecy. Just run. I will not let my brother's sacrifice be in vain. Did I miss a hat tree somewhere? I guess I did, fortunately. I cannot decipher the fragments on my own, yet I know who might interpret them. The preservers of Zakul. If they cannot, I fear this entire universe will burn. I don't know, maybe I have a flag for mention one hat but isn't one hatchery, but it's not a big deal. It's only one hatchery, it's only one Zerg research which we gain more than enough research is necessary. Trust me. We won't we don't need it. Real question is we can see what sort of um, research we can get right now though, even though we're not gonna see it being used. But we can at least that's gonna be a free view and I don't think that's another cutscene, right? We just We Yeah, no nothing. No new stuff? How much do we have right now? We have... There we are. We are oh, yeah, we're almost done with the Zerg Tech Tree as well. I don't even know which one to get. That's how... My controls... Eh. I mean, it could be useful and it's probably fun to use, but this seems... A lot more easy to manage. I mean, I just have to place it and place it and forget, right? This is kind of useless. Energy, I don't... I don't know, I, I think about it. This one though, science crystals for sure, and tech reactor. Pack the crystal though. So next mission I think, yeah we should. I gathered allies, and we made our way to the forbidden archive world of Zakul. There, a triumvirate of mystic preservers awaited us, and in the shadows, something else was watching. Yeah, and this one we ask we can start building stuff. All right, Zeratul, old buddy, you got your mysterious prophecy. Now let's see what your preservers made of it. How does that crystal even work? My quest to decipher the prophecy took me to the forbidden archive world of Zakul. Here. Three immortal preservers guarded ancient knowledge. Only they could transcribe the prophetic fragments. I needed to seek them out quickly. I get the feeling that these Protoss missions have a lot of dialogue. They, they do have a lot of dialogue to be honest. Which is kind of annoying because I kind of disturbs my train of thought. Yeah, and that to a tip. I know what I know what probes are. I've used them many times. And yeah, for those who are somehow don't know anything about Stark and yet watching this for um well, the nice nifty ability of not of being able to warp in buildings and the probes don't have to stay there and they can just do something else. Also they need pylons to power the stuff. So you must construct It is strangely silent here. Yet these structures are intact. With power, they would be functional. 
We must construct additional pylons. Pretty much. The real question is where are they warping from? Specifically, okay, here you can. They probably been warped in from Shakuras, but what about in Brood War? You know, when they're on Shakuras. Well, they can't be warping in from Iron, because that, that place is a wasteland by then. Oh, yeah, I need to place some pylons. 